Our priority is to take climate action by stopping new coal and gas mines. That will tackle the cost of living too with three key demands. Get dental and mental health into Medicare. Fix the housing affordability crisis by building a million new homes that people can buy for $300,000 or rent for 25% of their income. And wipe student debt, which will relieve a huge burden for people at a time that many are trying to start a family or buy their first house. And today I can announce the details of our last <clears throat> as yet unreleased plank in this platform, something that will be at the top of our list, getting dental into Medicare. In, in 2010, when I won the seat of Melbourne for, first, for the first time, the Greens were in balance of power in both the House and the Senate, and my vote put Labor into government. We secured free dental care for kids. It survived the Liberals, and now kids can access $1,000 every two years in free dental services. If you haven't taken advantage of it yet, do it. The Greens want to finish the job and get dental into Medicare for everyone. You don't tackle the cost of living with one-off handouts that get eaten up by inflation. You do it by making structural changes, like getting dental care into Medicare. Toothaches are incredibly painful. Left untreated, tooth decay can kill you. Each year, over 2 million Australians avoid going to the dentist because they can't afford it. If you can't afford to see a dentist when you need to, the problems just get worse. People who avoid going to the dentist then face higher costs, increased risk of heart disease, and they can face social isolation. It's a social justice issue as well as being a health issue. And during the last two years, when so many people have been struggling to cope with the rising costs of living, one of the things people overlooked was their dental health. The lower your income and the further you live from a major city, the less likely you are uh, to be able to see a dentist. Low income earners have twice the rate of untreated dental decay. And more than a third of people in remote and regional areas suffer untreated dental decay. And over half of all First Nations people live with untreated dental health issues. Poverty charges interest. If you can't afford to see a dentist today, you have to pay for a root canal tomorrow. Untreated dental conditions are one of the most significant causes of preventable hospital admissions. When people are unable to go to the dentist, they present in emergency departments, putting greater pressure on our hospitals. During the pandemic, we have come to truly appreciate the importance of investing in public health. We know that prevention is better than any cure. Dental care must be universal. It is a human right. Under our plan, Everyone entitled to Medicare will be able to get bulk billed or rebated dental care, including oral surgeries and orthodontic treatment. The Greens want you to be able to use your Medicare card to go to the dentist. <laughs> Under the Greens plan, you can go to the dentist of your choice and use your Medicare card, just like at the GP. Our policy will cost $77.6 billion over the decade, about $8 billion a year funded by making billionaires and big corporations pay their fair share of tax, and it will make people's lives better. The money is there to pay for these big plans if we have the guts to take on the billionaires and the big corporations. Labor agrees with the Liberals that workers on low incomes should get one-off payment of $420, but billionaires should get a tax cut of $9,000 per year, every year, forever. The Greens want something different. The Greens will introduce a billionaire's tax, which will tax the growing list of 131 billionaires in Australia, 6% of their wealth every year. We will introduce a corporate super profits tax, or a tycoon tax, which will get the one in three corporations that currently don't pay any tax at all, and force them to hand over their excessive profits on anything they make over $100 million. And we will crack down on multinational tax avoidance. We will also end the billions in subsidies to fossil fuel industries, which are not only trying to kill us, they're sending us an invoice. The Greens will make Clive Palmer pay more tax so that you can fix your teeth. <laughs> so over the coming weeks, just like in the last two years, you will hear from us over and over a simple message. In balance of power, the Greens will kick the Liberals out and take climate action by stopping new coal and gas mines, and tackle the cost of living by getting dental and mental health into Medicare, 
fixing the housing affordability crisis and wiping student debt. The election is still weeks away, but it can't come soon enough. People are sick of this Prime Minister. He promised to manage the economy and keep people safe, but he failed. It's just been one stuff up after another. But while people want to get rid of this government, the Greens included, Labor is sadly agreeing with the Liberals on too many issues that matter, like tax cuts for the wealthy and opening more coal and gas mines. I am sure Anthony Albanese will be, a, will be better than the current Prime Minister. But what people need is someone to keep Labor on track. For the last 50 years, the Greens have been fighting for the future.